Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. This sequence of videos I'm building uh, here on YouTube at the moment all based around what I often regard as maybe the top five financial functions in Excel from previous experience with a number of different clients over the years. Future value, present value, payment, number of periods, the rate function. These are the functions, the financial functions anyway, in Excel that probably use more often than um, any of the other financial functions. On a previous video, I can say we looked at the future value function and we came up with a formula looking something like that. If you haven't seen it already, do, uh, do search for it here on YouTube. This video dedicated to the use of the present value function um, in Excel. So, scenario that I've got here, let me just control scroll wheel to zoom in just a touch. Uh, scenario here is um, I would like to accumulate £7,500, for example, over the next three years, 36 months. I'm assuming an interest rate of 2.5%, and what I'm also doing here is I'm making a monthly payment of £125. Now, what the present value function for this particular scenario will um, calculate for us is on top of that £125 that I am investing every month at an interest rate of 2.5%, over three years, what other initial investment do I have to make? And with those variables in mind here, I also have to make an additional uh, initial investment of minus £2,627.57p, for example. And that's what the PV, the present value function, has done. Now, I'm going to start completely from scratch. Yeah, I just deleted that formula. Let's build it from the very beginning. So. There are my variables, rate, number of periods, and so on, equals PV and tab. Typically, of course, we've got a uh, number of different um, arguments or parameters. Several of those arguments are required, and a couple of them are optional. Of course, we can see that from the square brackets. So the rate, now, this is actually an annual interest rate, so I'm going to need to divide it by 12 to get a monthly interest rate, which kind of matches the number of periods that I do have, 36, 36 months, three years comma separator. There's my number of periods, comma separator. Um, there's the monthly payment I'm going to be making, comma separator once again to move on to the future value argument and that's the value I'd like to achieve in the future, comma separator. Finally the type argument, basically um, the zero indicates there that it will be at the end of the period. Press my return key or my enter key on the keyboard, and <clears throat> that is the extra initial investment I need to make if I'm to achieve this value, this future value. I want to accumulate £7,500 by making a monthly payment of £125 over a three-year period at an annual interest rate of 2.5%. And that's how the PV, the present value function, works. That's it from me, guys, uh, for this particular video anyway. Um, from me, Mark Davis, at Optimum Technology Transfer. Um, I've got three further financial functions in this kind of sequence that I'm going to um, create and upload to YouTube, so do look out for them. The payment function is coming soon. The number of periods function is coming soon and the rate function is coming soon as well. But I'll leave that with you guys. There's the present value worksheet. Just press my F2 function key on the keyboard and there's the final formula. As I say, that's it from me, Mark Davis, Adopt the Technology Transfer. Take care and bye-bye.